All right, so I got a message from the creator of Squirtle, and they wanted to let me know that they have a new weekly mode, um, and they were kind enough to make me a... Uh, so the first puzzle is available now this week, but they were kind enough to make me a zeroth puzzle, uh, so that I could try one without spoiling the first week's puzzle for everybody. So, this is not the first week's um, weekly Squirtle. This is a different one, so don't have to worry about spoilers on this. But the way this works, as you may notice, if you're familiar with Squirtle, this looks a little bit different over here. So we've got kind of like a normal Squirtle group, but we don't have the holes like we're used to. So the way this works is every Sunday there's going to be a new weekly puzzle, and it will be available for the whole week, so you could play it on Saturday, you know, or any time throughout the week. And it's a little bit harder because you've got more words to solve. So we actually have five rows and five columns. And um, it should be really interesting. I think it works basically the same otherwise. Um, <clears throat> I don't know too much about it. I haven't tried one yet. So we do start with only eight guesses. That's what the number here is. We do get an extra guess if we complete a row or a column. So it all works pretty much the same. You still only have to get all the greens. So... I'm gonna try it, we'll see how it goes. If you're not familiar with the rules of Squirtle, uh, link in the description to previous videos or check out the site, but I'm not gonna go into that extensively. But, here we go. So, uh, Alien and Short and Ducky have been working well for me lately, so I think I'm gonna start with those. So there's Alien, we got an L, that's good. Ooh, now that's interesting. Alien, look at this, they're all red. So now red means the letter is in the column, but not the row. That is interesting. They're all reds, okay. So, let's go ahead and do short. Okay. So we know there's an L and an R in this second column. There's an A and an S in the first column. We have A, S, and L in the first column. Interesting, okay. So, I think I'm just gonna go ahead and do ducky. And then I'm gonna start looking around and see what I can figure out. Okay, there's no D, K, or Y. There's no O. There's no O or Y. Uh, I'm gonna hide one on the duplicates. Uh, the the black ones, the ones we know there's no letter. I'm only gonna hide. I'm gonna hide one of the two because it it's repetitive information basically. Now these other ones, like uh, you know the white R here. Well, we have a red R. But the white R is still helpful, because it's telling us there's not an R in that row or column. So, I'm gonna leave those in there. Now, we're on this fourth row and column. We're down to five guesses already, so... Let's see, what do we... What do, we've got an L and an R in this column. There's no O or U. Now, what's interesting is this first word, right. So, since these were all reds, there's no A, I, or E in this first row. And there's no O. So it's either gotta ha so it's gotta have a U. There's no Y, there's no O, there's no A, I, or E. It's gotta have a U, and it's probably right there. Because we have this red U here. Now this is interesting. If it's U and I, what's that gonna be? Hmm. Probably probably lots of things, but I'm not coming up with one immediately. Now, you know, as usual, I'm thinking T in the corner here because I have a yellow T and an orange T, so, you know, there's a T in the column and a T in the row, so that makes me think, you know, that's a good spot to check at least, right? Um... We also know that there's an S in the first column and the first row, so S here seems like it wouldn't be a, a bad idea. There's an H in this- oh, there's a T and an H in the second row, now that's interesting, they're probably together, right? That would make sense, we could do something like a TH like that. Um, what else do we know about that one? We don't know much. There's no U, but... Hmm... It could also be something like lathe, if this was T-H-E. That could be good. Or it could be loathe, if... No, there's no O. Lathe would be good. L-A-T-H-E. So maybe we should do something with an H here? And here I've got a red E and a yellow E, so it'd be good to do an E right there, potentially. Just because we know there's an E in both of them, so... You know, it rules out another spot in both of those, at least. So something with an H and an E... Let's see, what would be good to do? 
You know, we could do something like wheel. Because we know there's an E in both of these words, and it's not, they don't start with E, because the red E here and the yellow E here, this is gonna check, you know, a lot of E positions, as well as E is just a common letter anyway, so it's probably, it's pretty good to check for the, you know, the third row and the third column as well. I'm gonna go ahead and do that, I think. I think I like wheel. Okay, so we've ruled out a lot of H's. In fact, in this fourth column here, there can't be an E at the first spot. Obviously, the second one is an H, it can't be an E. Third one is not an E, the fourth one is not an E. This is an E for sure down here. Now, I'm thinking the T is gonna come before the H. So, lathe is looking better and better here as a possibility. Now, this one, we've got E's um, either in the second or the fifth position we have an E. We don't know which one, but I'm thinking this is an E. So, if I guess an E over here, right, that'll put an E down here as well if we're guessing an E on this word, which will rule out that spot if it's not right there. If it is right there, then this won't, that won't help us as much, but potentially it could help. Um, but what do I want to guess here? We, we need to get, um, we need to complete one of these, so I definitely want to do an E second here, because I want to try and complete lathe. I think it might, I mean, I don't know that it's lathe, but assuming maybe it is. It's not going to be LT. And the T is not last. Yeah, the T has to be third there. It's got to be a T there. Okay. We know there's a T here. Oh, there's an L in this word down here. Okay. And there's an N in the word, the final column. L in the final row, N in the final column. But not the other way around, but... So, let's see. The L... The L is not second. So it's first or third. Now, first would be interesting because we've got an L in that first column, but that could that could work still. Um, there's nothing that says that can't be there. But right here feels like a good spot for an L. Um, we know there's an A in that first column. Is there something that starts with A? I mean, the A feels like it makes sense after the L. Because this can't be an... Yeah, because, okay, if it's after the L, it's it feels like it's probably a vowel, right? It can't be I, can't be O, can't be U, can't be E, and it can't be Y. So the A is going to be right there, yeah. So... There's so many things that could be still, though. What could this be? L-E-T. Could be something like filet, if there's an... I here. This would have to end with F, though. Mm, that doesn't seem as good. Now, we don't know that the S is up here, actually. This could be an S down here, for all we know. But... Uh, it can't be an I, because I was thinking inlet or eyelet. But... It could be filet, or... Unlet? Is that a thing? Just trying to figure out. There's, we could still use a U somewhere. Oh, we have. We think there's a U up here, actually. So we need to have an I in here. U T. Is it, we don't know that the U is up here, do we? Why did I put the U up there? Just because I thought it. Oh, because right. Because there's a U in that word for sure. Right, right, right. Because of the, all the reds. Yeah. Uh. So U. There's an I in here. U. Yeah. No. I, the U isn't necessarily... We know there's a U in this first... Well, there's probably a U in this first word. But it doesn't necessarily have to be third, just because there's a U in here. Okay, so back over here. What are these going to be? So there's no N. So it can't be like slang. Um, something like... Slash could work. But then, what's this gonna be? If this is, I don't think this can be an F. I guess we don't know that it starts with an S. I'm kind of thinking I might do, oh, but I wanted to do the E there, didn't I? Okay, so, 
All right, here's what I'm thinking. I think this is L-E-T. I think that's an E. I think I can do the word relet, and it will let me check all four of those. Hopefully that's a valid word. Okay, it is. Ooh. Okay, well, it's not L-E-T. Interesting. So the L... The L... The L could be here. Hmm. Okay, that is an E, so I think this is probably lathe. Uh, what's this gonna be? This this has to have an N. The N has to be here. Oh. And this could be tenet. Tenet would be good. Uh, the L... This could this could still be if this could still be the L, but I feel like this ha oh, that doesn't have to be an A. This could be the S. That would work. Uh, but then this would have to be a vowel, which would have to be a U. No, I don't like that. Uh, this could this could be the L though. Ooh, there's two E's. Look at this. There's two E's. The double arrows means there's two E's. And there's no E in the first spot, so this is an E. This is an E. This could be sleet. We know there's an S in that word. That would work. Uh, there's an L in this middle column. It's not, uh, it's not third. It's not third, it's gotta be here. This has to be an L, which fits with the yellow L here, so that makes sense. There's an R, there's an L here, okay, R. R could be first or third. There's an S in this first row, though. But it could it could be it could be right there with the S H. That would be good. S H. We don't know anything else about this. We know there's an E somewhere, which we've already got an E. Oh, that, that's the only place that he can have an E. In fact, it's the orange, red, and red. So. This could be, you know, shape or shame or something. I mean, lots of things it could be. Okay, so I think this ends in ST. I think it has a U, which maybe is there. Or this could be an R. No, it can't be an R. If this is a T. Hmm. Yeah, and this has to be the T. So we have the orange T, and this yellow T down here means that's not T. So this has to be a T. So I think it has to be lathe. So this has got to then be like... Ooh, this this could be the S instead of this one, but then what's that going to be? Yeah, this could be a lot of things, I guess. So, I'm thinking, I'm thinking about glass or class. Class, I haven't done a G yet, but I know there's a C somewhere, so. Because what I'm thinking is that checks two more spots for the S in this word as well. And I thought that this could potentially be SH here. So let's do class. It's class. Awesome. So we got a bonus guess. Whew. Okay, and this is an S here. Okay, okay. Good, good. Now we're really getting somewhere. So this is probably sleet. We know it has two E's. It's S something E E T. And there is no. So that's sleet. That's guaranteed to be sleet. No question. Okay. This I'm pretty sure is lathe. This one has an L, it has an R. So this is not going to be an S here, because this is going to be... I, I think this is... Yeah, because this is this is an N. We don't know what this is, but I think it's got to be E-N-E-T. I think it's got to be a T. This is going to be... What's that going to be? Something... There's no... It's got to have a U. We do... Oh, crust. Crust. Yeah, there's an R. There's an R in this column because the red R. So crust. R A. What's this? U U U T U T I L U T I L U T I L. Maybe that's a word. That seems like it would be a word. 
<laughs> I'm not sure what he's I guess like something that's uh, like utility. I assume it's related to that Sleet lathe ra. What's this gonna be? Hmm an a something I something n that's an interesting one Well, we could do oh see yeah, so we could do we just need to do the a and the t for lathe so we could do r a t something R A T something L um, A L I don't know if that's a word <laughs> I'm just trying to get something oh that is a word okay it is oh oh it's not lathe oh is it loathe I thought that was O A no there's no O. U. Luth? Is that a word? Rural? No, there's no U in that row. In that column, I mean. The white U here. So, it can't be U, O, or A. Or E. It has to be a lot. An I. Lithe. Lithe? Rival. Avian. There we go. There is an A in this column. Uh, shame, or share, or... S A L Hmm. All right, well I'm thinking avian. I want to see if I can do uvian. I don't think that's a word, but I want the u up here, so no, it's not a word. Okay, I'll have to do avian. Okay. That was good. That gave us a bonus guess. We're down to 2, so we've got to be careful here. Um so this one, what's this going to be? Okay, let's look at the white letters and make sure we've used them somewhere. The A, the T, the H, the U, we're pretty sure is up here. Uh, we know there's a U in that column at least. L, the R, yeah. Okay, so there's no like white letters pointing to something that we haven't used yet. So nothing obvious. So this could be shave and salve. Ooh, that would be good. Okay, well the good thing is, we should complete two words if that is correct. Okay, two bonus guesses, good, so we're up to three, so we're doing good. I think the rest are gonna be correct, so now we can get double one here too, because if we can get the T and the E, we just need any, I mean, the there would work. There we go, we got both of those, bonus guess, bonus guess, we're back up to five. Now we need to do... Rust, and there's no benefit to doing anything different. Okay, and then this has to be an I. Uh, and then... Uh, so yeah, just let's just do live. There we go. We got it. Okay, so that was definitely a little bit harder. Uh, I was At one point I was down to one or two guesses left, so you definitely have to be a little bit more careful with your guesses uh, compared to the normal Squirtle. That's a Squirtle, that's a lot of fun. I'm not sure what Utile and Lithe... Lithe, oh Lithe is like... Um, it's kind of like Lively, I think? I'm not sure, I'll put it on the screen over there, I'll look it up and put it on, but I think it's kind of like uh, Lively or Active. If I, if I had to guess. And Utile, I think, is probably something similar to, like, Utility. Um, but, yeah. There you go. Alright, cool. So, that was the zeroth puzzle, or the uh, sort of demo puzzle that they sent to me to do. And the, the first puzzle is now available. You can go to Squirtle and do the weekly puzzle. If there's going to be a new one every Sunday. You can do it all week long. So give it a try, let me know how you do. I'll probably be doing the puzzle number one maybe at the end of the week so that I don't spoil it for people. So there you go. Let me know what you think of this new mode for Squirtle. If you think it's uh, fun, too hard, what, what you think of it. And uh, be sure to like and subscribe to help out the algorithm and I'll see you again soon with some more puzzles. So the way this works is it's like normal Wordle, but one of the clues is a lie. Ooh, okay, so. So we know the T and the O are in different words. We also know that there's two O's. Blank, I don't think that's, you know, we can't do blank. So, I don't think we can do A-N-C. This works just like normal Wordle. 
except instead of getting the yellows and greens on the actual letters, we're gonna get numbers on the right side over here that will tell us how many greens and how many yellows there are. 